Hello, my name is Shane Kirksey, and I'm an application engineer with Votron. Today, I want to show you how our two-point stabilization feature works with our latest software called Photron FastCam Viewer 4, or PFV4. Here, we have a short video of a rotating clutch. The areas of interest to our customer are these springs and cams. But as you can imagine, it's hard to see how they perform while the clutch is spinning. So the solution is our two-point stabilization feature, and I'm going to quickly show you how to use it. First, we go to Special Effects and select Stabilization. You can select Single Point Stabilization, and this is great if your object is only moving in one direction, such as a sled for automotive crash testing, drop testing, or if you need to take the vibration out of a single axis shaker table. Two-point stabilization is used when your object is moving in more than one direction, such as an automotive pitching sled, rotating object, or even to take the vibration out of an image when the camera is hit by a shock wave from a blast event. So we're going to select two-point stabilization and lock it in the X direction. For this example, it wouldn't matter if you chose X or Y, but some situations will be driven by where the tracking points are located. Now I select two points in the image, and these two bolts work nicely. The tracking algorithm that we use is very good, but it's always good to select points with good contrast. Now I want to adjust my template size to cover the entire point, and adjust my region of interest size. Region of interest, is the area within the image that the algorithm will search for the selected template. If your object is moving extremely fast and the tracked point moves a greater distance from frame to frame, you would increase the size of the region of interest. Now select Start Tracking and the video plays as the points are tracked. This is a relatively short video of only 229 frames, but the time it takes to track will depend on the number of frames. Now that we've completed tracking these two points, I'm going to select apply. And you notice that my two points are now locked in the X direction and at the center of the frame. Now I can play my video back and all movement is shown relative to these locked points. Now I can zoom into my image and view the individual components. This allows us to use the Photron measurement tools and manual tracking tools. Those things will be shown in a later tutorial. Now that I've locked my points and applied my image stabilization, I can choose to either save just a region of interest of the video or the entire field of view with the stabilization applied. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Please contact Photron if you have any questions. Thank you.